a new version of OBS Studio just dropped, and with it comes the new Hybrid MP4. Hybrid MP4 is a new video container format created by the OBS team that aims to provide some more modern improvement in features lacking in the current MP4 format. Noticeable improvements include video chapter support, more accurate embedded time and date, additional metadata support, and recoverable video in the case of a system crash, just like with MKV video when recording with OBS. Right off, let me just say that Hybrid MP4 is brand new and is in beta, but it'll work like any regular MP4 video file. I used the format in my most recent video with OBS. It had no issues with recording or playback in programs such as Pop Player, VLC, Chrome, Firefox, and DaVinci Resolve. Also works perfectly fine on smartphones. Hybrid MP4 supports video codecs H.264, H.265, ATVC, and AV1, along with various audio formats. ProRes support is also in the works. There are no quality or size difference with hybrid MP4 video recordings, so no improved compression or anything like that. So to enable hybrid MP4 video recordings, in OBS simply go to settings, go to your output, and you want to make sure that recording format is set to hybrid MP4. I can't show it now, but you can also select between various codecs and audio formats. Then if you want to make chapters, you want to go to hotkeys, and set a hotkey for adding chapters. In my case, I have it set to Control Alt C. And now, when I record a video, I can just press Control Alt C, start recording my video, maybe add another chapter here, and then stop the recording. Let me go ahead and bring up the video. It's right here. And now, if I open it up in Pop Player, for example, I can see the chapters at the bottom. And if I bring up the little sidebar here, I can see the unnamed chapters. Then if I want to bring it into a program like DaVinci Resolve, just drag it in here like so, and I can see the chapters right in the video, and I can title them however I like. Now, unfortunately in OBS, you can't name the chapters directly in the program. Fortunately, additional chapter hotkeys is a little add-on whereby you can go ahead and create your own chapter hotkeys. For example, maybe you wanted to add one for intro, outro, and then your settings and assign those chapter names a key. So if I scroll down here, I see add chapter marker intro. Maybe I want to have that set to control all I and outro control all O. And now when I record again, like what I'm doing right now, and press Control Alt I, that's my intro. Control Alt O, that's my outro. Stop the recording, play back the video, and I can see I have the intro and my outro. I will have a link to this plugin in the description. One thing to keep in mind with chapters is that the video does have to be finalized in order for the chapters to be embedded. So if something happens and you crash or something, or you might have the video, you won't have the chapters. So that's a quick look at Hybrid MP4. If you like my content, consider becoming a YouTube member, get early access to new content, or consider becoming a Patreon member and get access to exclusive content too hot for YouTube.